LOMP1. We will continue that topic, WebTime Pro ABAP. And in the previous videos, we are covering object value selector as a part of component usage. And till the previous videos, we finished with the logic part of phase two. In the phase two, we have written the logic to select that data. And this in this internal table, we have that data. And yes, that is our output table. Now, suppose if I am running this WebDen Pro application, if I will test this WebDen Pro application, whenever I will click on to this F4 button, OVS search help will trigger. This label is coming through phase zero. This default value is coming through phase one. Whenever I will go for O button, phase two will trigger. And this is the data which is displaying in the selection list. Now, whenever I will select a record, yes, the result should return. Now we need to apply the result. So this is suppose if I'm selecting this record, this eight should go to sales document number. This JKSO should go to sales organization. This ZO should go to distribution channel. Ace J7 should go to DBZ. Now we need to apply the result. Now we need to go for the applying the selection result onto the screen elements. Now, how, how we will do this particular thing? Suppose if I will put a breakpoint, I will put a breakpoint into phase three. Now, I will simply, simply select a record. Now, you all know whenever we will select a record, yes, now phase three will trigger. I am selecting a record. Now, phase three will trigger. And in the phase three, we will write the logic to simply, simply apply the result. We will apply the selection result. Now you can see the phase indicator. What is our phase indicator? It is three. So this particular logic will trigger. But this particular logic will trigger. Now the most, most important thing is why we are understanding in debugging mode. Simple case. Whenever we are selecting a record, if we are getting this selected record, our task is to just Bind this 8 with this, this JKSO with this, this JO with channel, this J7 with DBZ. So our target is in the debugging mode. We need to check where we have this particular record. Are we getting this record or not? If we are getting this particular record, we we'll simply, simply bind with the screen elements. So we will simply see where we have this selected record. This is the SAP logic. We'll simply debug and check where we have the selected record. I'm doing F6. I'm doing F6. And SAP is assigning the result. SAP is assigning the selected record to this field symbol. Whenever I will execute this statement, you can see SAP assigned the result to this LS underscore selection. If I will double click onto this field symbol, you can see VB, ELN, VKORG, VTW, EG, and SPART. This is what we want. If we have these values, these values are into LS underscore selection. LS selection, VKORG, this is the value. LS selection VBELN, this is the value. LS selection VTWEG, this is the value. LS selection SPART J7. We simply, simply have to bind these values with these four screen elements. This is our target. Now, what we will do, we we'll simply check the code. And SAP has given the code also. We just need to uncomment the code and we need to change the column name and values. Just see here, SAP has clearly given the logic. We are setting the 
attribute. So what is our first attribute? P B E L N. What is our second attribute? P K O R G. What is our third attribute? P T W E G. What is our fourth attribute? S P A R T. And where are the values? Values are into L S underscore selection. And S P is clearly given. Column one. Rather than column one, we need to just pass the various columns. What are the various columns we are using? So whenever I will uncomment and write the code, you will clearly understand. And at the starting level, I told yes, it is just SAP has given very good documentation. We just need to understand the documentation and we can simply achieve our requirement. So I will simply uncomment this code. So what is our first column name? B B E L N. And where where we have the value of the B B E L N of the selected record? It is into L S selection. Which column name? B B E L N. B B E L N. So I will simply write L S selection. What is the column name? B B E L N. So for this particular attribute, what we are doing, we are simply, simply passing the value 8. For this particular VBELN, we are passing the value 8. And you all know this attribute VBELN, this attribute VBELN, if I will go for the layout, we binded this VBELN. You can see. We bind it here, this VBELN. It means it will simply, simply go for which value? 8. Similarly, VKORG is binded. Similarly, VTWG is binded. Similarly, SPART is bind. If we are setting the values, it will simply, simply display on the screen. Now, I will simply go to component controller method and we will write the code. So we are just setting the values with the attributes. Those attributes are binded bind on the screen, various screen elements, yes. So it will display. Now we will simply go for second one. I will copy. Now what is our second column? VKORG. And what is the selection? VKORG. LS selection VKORG. It means we are simply, simply passing this particular value. Now we will go for third attribute. Now what is our third attribute? VTWEG. And what is the selection? LS selection VTWEG. It means we are simply, simply binding this particular value. That's why I explained in the debugging mode so that we can understand what we want to do. And debugging is a powerful tool. If you know debugging, we can do each and everything. And many times without debugging, we will not even able to understand what we need to write. Suppose in this example, if we will not see in that debugging mode where we have the value in LS selection, then we will not be able to write the code. Suppose if we will check the type of this LS selection, you can see LS selection is referring to this particular structure. And this structure has how many columns? Four columns. And we are getting four column values. Now I will check the syntax and I will activate. And at the initial level, we covered why, why we are going for OVS. We can populate multiple fields. See, we are populating multiple fields. I have written the logic to populate the multiple fields. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, what we did, we simply, simply selected the record from the selection list. And you all know, yes, whenever you will select a record, yes, after that, yes, phase three will trigger. So what is the purpose of phase three? The purpose of phase three is to return the result, is to apply the result. We need to apply or return the result to these screen elements, whatever we designed, yes. 
So obviously, what is our major target? We need to check in the debugging mode, whatever the row we selected, are we getting that record or not? If we are getting that record, then our part is done. So we simply debug the code and check this ls underscore selection field symbol, we are getting that particular record. So after that, what we did, we simply, simply uncommented this particular code. So SAP has given the code also. We just need to change the name of the attribute and whatever the value we want to pass. And yes, you can see we are populating multiple fields. And this ls selection, whatever the field symbol is there, it has it is of type structure which has same column VBELN, PK, ORG, VT, WEG, SPART. So we simply binded the values with these four attributes. You all know these four attributes are binded with the screen elements. So it will simply simply display. Now in the next video. I will put the breakpoint. We will go from phase zero to phase three. So if some confusion is there in any of the phase, it will be automatically cleared in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.